Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Friday, April 19th, 2019. It is a very active holiday weekend. We have Passover starting tonight. We have Good Friday today for Catholics and Christians. We have uh, also Easter this Sunday. So a lot going on this weekend. Unfortunately, the weather is not exactly going to be cooperating with very unsettled and stormy weather conditions, especially tonight on through tomorrow with a very slow moving cold front, especially if you are in Connecticut and Long Island. So let's break down what's going on. This morning we are under the influence of, of a warm front that has pushed well to the north with southerly winds around 10 to 20 miles per hour. Temperatures range from the lower to mid 50s along the coast, upper 50s to mid 60s over the rest of the region which scattered the broken cloud cover. So overall, a warm morning with generally dry weather conditions. Unfortunately, that is not going to last. On the satellite picture, you can see that scattered the broken cloud cover throughout the region. Now you'll notice most of the cloud cover is back off to the west with our cold front, but we do have quite a bit of low clouds also along the coast. So what we can expect for today is some breaks of sun, but also with that sun, a few of those isolated to widely scattered showers starting to develop towards the afternoon and evening hours. So let's dive into this forecast. For today, look for isolated showers developing in the afternoon with temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 60s on the immediate coast, upper 60s to mid 70s for the rest of the region. Basically, the more sunshine you get and the drier you are, the more likely you will be pushing into the 70s. For this evening, things go downhill very quickly. This low pressure system and this cold front will be steadily lifting up towards the region with scattered showers and thunderstorms. And some of these thunderstorms are going to be packing quite a punch with the support for wind gusts over 40 miles per hour and torrential downpours. We could easily see some urban flooding and flash flooding throughout the region, thus the flash flood watches. And also there will be a threat for some strong wind gusts leading to some power outages down trees. So not exactly the best driving conditions for tonight. Now, the cold front will be moving steadily through the region tomorrow morning with temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 60s. The problem is that the cold front starts to slow down as you head towards the late morning and afternoon hours over Long Island and Connecticut. So if you're in Connecticut and Long Island and also much of eastern New England, you're going to be dealing with waves of heavy rainfall. However, for the immediate New York City metro on west through eastern Pennsylvania, you'll have more scattered broken cloud cover and also a threat for an isolated shower or two, but much drier overall. Look for temperatures to range quite a bit from the lower to mid 60s where we're going to see steady rainfall basically over Connecticut and much of Long Island, and then mid 60s to lower 70s for the rest of the region as we get more sunshine. On Sunday, Easter Sunday, this pesky low pressure system is going to be hanging around as our upper level low starts to approach, and that's going to lead to scattered broken cloud cover with isolated showers. Look for temperatures to range from the lower 50s for lows and mid to upper 60s for highs. On Monday, that same upper level low will spawn a new low pressure system off the coast, and that's going to lead to waves of showers, heavy at times, a bit of a raw day on Monday with lows in the mid to upper 40s and highs in the mid to upper 50s. On Tuesday, a cold front will move through with scattered showers, much warmer ahead of this cold front. Look for lows in the mid to upper 40s, but rebounding very nicely into the lower to mid 60s on the immediate coast and upper 60s to mid 70s for the rest of the region. It's going to be a very nice day on Tuesday if you could dodge a few showers. On Wednesday, that cold front clears out. Still a threat for an isolated shower or two, but for the most part, scattered cloud cover. Look for lows in the lower to mid 50s. Highs in the lower to mid 60s. On Thursday, again, threat for an isolated shower, but for the most part, dry, scattered cloud cover is expected. Lows in the lower 40s, highs in the lower to mid 60s. And on Friday, high pressure generally in control, but still a threat for an isolated shower to look for lows in the mid to upper 40s and highs in the lower to mid 60s along the immediate coast upper 60s to lower 70s everywhere else. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen D. Martino, and as always, stay safe out there.